Hey guys, Gokusan for the one here, and welcome back to another Leaf Green walkthrough episode. In this part, I'll be taking on the Cerulean City Gym and also the Gym Leader Misty. Now, before I actually go do that, I'd like to show off my Pokemon. I got a level 19 Robin now, and my light bulb went up to level 23. I do recommend level grinding. It's smart. It's very smart actually to do this before the gym and also pick up some potions. Uh, I had four before and I bought five. That should be enough. But anyways, let's get into this gym and fight the first trainer. Now, the first trainer you go up against is a male swimmer, and he has a level 16 horsey, and also a level 16 shelter. Now, you shouldn't have too much trouble with this gym if you pe picked up a Pikachu, or even chose Bulbasaur like me at the start of the game. Um, just because Pikachu runs through all the trainers, has a little bit of trouble on Misty, just because her Pokemon cut through Pikachu in like two shots, so you do have to watch out for that. If you chose uh, Bulbasaur, the trainers might have a little bit more of an edge on you than uh, Misty does. Misty shouldn't be too hard if you chose Bulbasaur. Now, this horsey right here, I'm just going to stay and keep attacking with my Robin. Robin's going to be able to take this thing out pretty nicely. And I actually kind of want to evolve my Robin by the end of this battle. Just because in the next level, level 20 to be exact, he evolves into Fero. Now... This shelter right here, you do have to watch out for this thing just because it runs Icicle Sphere. And I don't know, actually, I'm just going to go for Sphere Attacks. I'm going to hope that we get 5 hits. I don't know if we're going to get that lucky though. We're going to get 3 hits. How about 4? Give me 4. Okay, 5 man. Nice, we got 4, or we got 5 whole hits with that Fury Attack right there, the most you can get. He's going to go for a Tackle though, get a critical hit. And it comes down to this. We're going to hit the Fury Attack. Is it going to kill though? That's the big question. And it does just that nice. We took down the shelter and it looks like our Robin will go up to level 20 and evolve into Fero this, uh, after the screen right here, which is nice. So, you sh again, you shouldn't have too much trouble with that trainer unless you chose Bulbasaur, but I'm going to be quiet here and let my Pokemon evolve. Okay, we finally got a Fero. I'd have to like check this Pokemon out before we actually go on. Fero is a pretty strong flying type. Actually, in my opinion, a little bit stronger than Pidgey Pidgeot, but that's all preference. Now, we're going to go on to this next battle right here, and I'm going to stay in with my Fero, because he just evolved that I'd like to use him. Also, uh, if you chose a grass type like me, you're going to be having some trouble with this trainer, just because it's a level 19 Goldeen that this junior trainer, or Picnicker, is actually packing. So this thing is running Peck, you do have to watch out for that. Uh, Peck is a strong flying type move, and it also is sad, because Goldeen is a flying water type. So... Goldeen's going to go for a supersonic here. You do have to watch out for a lot of confusion in this gym. Um, most of the trainer's Pokemon are going to be running supersonic. And then on top of that, Misty has a move called Water Pulse, which does a lot of damage because it is stab. And also, on top of that, it could confuse you. So, hopefully Robin doesn't hit himself right here. He's going to hit himself. Never get lucky with the confusion. Never do. Horn attack's probably going to finish us off. We're going to live with 2 HP though, and Robin's going to snap out Confusion. Nice. So we took down that Goldeen. Um, if you don't want to bring out your Grass type, just throw your Pikachu out there if you got that at the start of the game, or even just have a Fero or a uh, Pidgeotto. That works just as well as well. I said as well twice there, Mobby. <laughs> but we're going to fight the Gym Leader now, and I'm actually going to switch out my Robin right here, just because Robin won't be able to do that much... Well, he will be able to do that much damage to uh, her Pokemon, but Light Bulb's going to have a little more of an easier time going through her Staryu and Starmie. Now, Misty's Pokemon are super high level for the second gym. Her Staryu is level 18, and her Starmie being level 21. Now, Staryu, one of those Pokemon that you have to take out on the gym leader's team like super quickly, because Staryu can do a lot of damage to you, and... I don't know if she uses X items on her Staryu, but on her Starmie she does, and Starmie can sweep you if she gets enough of those set up on her. But we're going to take out the Staryu in one shot right there, which is nice, and Starmie is up next. 
Now, I do not want this Sarmi actually getting any critical hits or anything on us. So I'm just going to stay in here and go for a Sleep Powder on the Starmie. We are going to hit it, which is nice, and Vine Whip should be able to take out the Starmie in two shots, I would say. Um, hopefully we get a high roll in the second one, because I think Starmie might live with one HP. Maybe not. Uh, Starmie is going to wake up, though. Go for a Swift, not Recover. Uh, you do have to watch out for Starmie using Recover as well. That is super annoying. And we're going to get a low roll. Come on. Come on. Misty's going to go for a Super Potion. That's fine. Uh, Starmie, I haven't really seen her go for uh, Water Pulse just yet. Water Pulse is one of those moves you have to watch out for because it does confuse you. Probably not going for it though because I am a Grass type. And Vine Whip should be able to take out the Starmie right here. Nice. Pretty easy gym. After you win the gym battle though, we're also going to go up to level 24 which is nice. But after you win the gym battle, she's going to give you the TM, TM03 I think it is for it, which is Water Pulse, and she's also going to give you the Cascade Badge, and also $2,000 if you uh, really care about that. The Cascade Badge allows your Pokemon over level 30 to obey you, and you're also able to use Cut now, which is a very useful AM that will, or HM that we'll have to use later on in the game. So we got Water Pulse. Uh, none of my Pokemon could actually learn that at the moment, so I'm not going to teach it to anyone, but I'm going to end off the episode right here, guys. If you did enjoy, go ahead and leave a comment down below telling me what you did like also give me some criticism i'd like to improve my episodes here and there uh just so you guys get more entertained and my youtube channel just looks better in general so anyways if you guys like this video shoot that like button with kamehameha